Game number one in the CC Masters Cup here today on Saturday. Uh, we go into the round of 16. It's all best of three. We saw one match yesterday that was 1-0 versus Infi, where the Undead was successful. And now... We have another round of 16 match, that is Sock versus Romantic. A human mirror to start the day, it's China versus Korea. Winners versus LP Club. So, oops. Uh. With that, and without further ado, let's go in game and have some fun. Does that work? No, it doesn't. Uh, there you go, there you have the game. I hope everything looks all right for you guys. Uh, except the overlay, which is not here yet. It was a little drunk yesterday and getting up later. Here we go. So, Romantic in the blue. And Sock in the red. Now everything is according to plan. Who will be the opponent of Happy? That's the question, because Happy already advanced into the quarterfinals. Uh, with a death win over Alice. Sock from Korea in the bottom left-hand side of Concealed Hill. It is an Archmage in the upper right for Romantic. We have an Archmage as well. Romantic very successful at WGL in the Human Mirror. Defeating Hawk in the quarterfinal. Building a tower here. So I wonder... Um, I, Sock was in the quarterfinal as well. He wasn't too There's successful in the Human Mirror. Like he got clapped to death by TH. So, I wonder if we will see this here later, uh, but so far both decide to go for an Archmage, no PTSD, what the fuck, mods can you clean the chat, <laughs> that's so sick, um, so no PTSD for Sork, but he might play it a little more careful than he did uh, against TH, so tower up. And both are going for the laboratory. This is becoming more and more standard. Great item for Sock here so far. No harass. I mean, there is a footman, but that should be fine. He shouldn't be able to get too many kills. So maybe this one here? Uh, needs like three hits. Needs a block. Well done. Well reacted by Sock. On the other side, Romantic only going for green, green. He got level 2 as well, only a ring of protection, but this is quite a jump start for the Korean, who can go to green green now himself, and it should be a faster level 3. With lots of haste too. What does it mean for the tech? Oh, okay, Militia used for the turtle spot, so Romantic can be a little more aggressive and just moving down south as well. To steal this little green spot, as he has the time, as he has the knowledge that Romantic, uh, that, that Sock is moving on the left hand side of things. Not intercepting this one, not punishing this one. Sock's a little lost when it comes to the positioning of his opponent. Players forces are under attack. There we have level 3 plus boots. At level 3 as well with the Militia creeping here. And yeah, Sock is just a little too late. He is able to steal the gauntlets. What? What's going on? Right. Harass now. Into Romantic's base. Which is quite fine. Militia are still hurt from the turtle spot. Can he get another kill? Layers oh, nicely prevented this. Sock is able to move away without too many losses. I think there's one kill. Romantic prevented more. But that's definitely an invitation for a second coming here. Archmage got boots and the tally staff as well. Sock waiting for another water elemental, maybe hiding in the shadows. Oh, ships in the night! Romantic didn't see him, only now trying to block this away, so no new water elemental summon by Sock. Tech wise, 30% here. Romantic is far ahead in tech. Sock is trying to heal, but Romantic is ready for this. This is not good. One footman down. 
and this one will fall as well. Great late early game for the Chinese. Defending Sox plants nicely. There's another Watt Lamento taking care of this. Good micro in the base constantly, so good multitasking. And I say it and there's a kill, but this could have been worse. So Sox is down to 29 supply, making creeping super hard. Maybe with a shredder, but that's a big investment. Thank you, ZB4 Light, for the 15 month resub. A player's forces are under attack. He's trying again with another kill. Lumber is a little bit of an issue, but he started the Sanctum already. He started the Mountain King, so yeah, no worries. Thousand eight hundred. It's just a wait. Gold is the same actually. And another footman lost. Mad romantic, full throttle. He's seemingly everywhere. And Sock can't really follow. So lumber and gold for Sock, both looking good. Still holding on to the big mana potion. But overall, Romantic has still so many footmen. Six plus the Mountain King. And how is Sock supposed to creep? He has two footmen in the base, and that's it. Archmage maybe trying to distract. But yeah, this Mountain King advantage. I can see like in low level three versus high level one at the end. No one's rising up to level four just yet. Thank you, GD Vitiello, for the 100 bits. Romantic is just such an annoying human mirror player, and I mean that in the best way possible. That. Oh, you gotta be careful now. You can't surround with four units. Um, in a way that he oftentimes moves so weird that you lose track of things that happen. And he surprises you coming out of seemingly nowhere. And using the telly staff. Like this is his signature move in Human Mirror. He did that two years ago already. And defeated TH at a GCS event back then. Potion of invulnerability, nice as well. This army is just so, Sock, what can you do? Losing a footman to the creeps? Oh, no. He's not in a position to, like, donate footmen at the moment. Later on, yeah, if you want to exchange them for breakers, but it's not time for that yet. We have the spell, breakers coming, but he's far away from 50 supply. Romantic closing in on this, also double Players sanctum, again with the blacksmith. Attack. We got the 100 signups. Nice. As long as you all sign in as well. Make it a full 128 player grid. So, creep jack time. Level 2 MK. No level 3 just yet. Oh, but Sock is getting caught off guard in the middle of everything. There's no potion on him. Mountain King on Mountain King action. Storm bolts everywhere. Good damage by Sock, surprisingly. There is an invo potion. He triggers it. Storm bolt. And this is Sock's second hero dying immediately. Man, this, uh, this marsh pit didn't do him any good. And now it's time to snipe a couple of units here as well. Sock's losing more and more. That's not an engagement he wanted to take, really. A player's force is our Bash comes in handy and Romantic is just... quite overwhelming at this point. Both level 4. That's level 3 for the Mountain King. That's almost another Stormbolt, which will guarantee a new kill. Man. Yes, of course, Sock invested into... This is exactly what I mean. Sock invested into an expansion on the way, so his army was uh, smaller by nature. This is a little bit of a desperation after this horrible, horrible early mid game. But here's the staff, here's the water elemental, here are the footmen because Romantic just knows. 
And he's gonna wreck this. Peasant line wiped out. Militia coming in. Two breakers and two priests. That's the army. GG. <laughs> Super one-sided game. Romantic after... Um, yeah, with like a very standard creep route. With good defenses. And there you go. Oftentimes, like this is oftentimes the case in Human Mirror. Um, once you, once you got an advantage and your opponent is not that creative to throw you off a little, it starts to snowball. And that absolutely happened here. Uh, Sock. Not the best. But okay, maybe... Like, he wasn't destroyed as he was by uh, THWGL. Well, that didn't look too good at all. Fell a little behind. In creeping, actually. Um, like, losing so many footmen early on. That doesn't work. Uh, so yeah, we have CC Masters and the Rising Star Cup today. So a long Saturday here at Back to Warcraft. More than 1,200 people already watching. Nice. So, 104 Romantic, the favorite prevails, would be a nice rematch of Happy and Romantic. Really curious to see um, how Happy deals with the tanks of Romantic. Too bad that Fly never advances far enough to meet Happy. Well, they met at BREC. Um, offline and Fly destroyed him 2-0. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, Jim Pass, nice to see you, mate. Got cold feet, and I don't know where my slippers are. That's the biggest problem I have right now. So usually there's always two games at the same time, uh, but not for the first two hours here, as 1-0 and Infi played yesterday, and Happy got a death win. So we decide Happy's opponent for tomorrow right here. He will have the first game of the day tomorrow at noon, so make sure... Um, to set your alarms. Oh, you, you know what I love, guys? Seeing pictures from fans watching and I got one from Martin and it's pretty cool so I want to show it to you there you go is that a setup for Warcraft Saturday or what the biggest dog like the question is is the dog that big or is the room so small is he living maybe in a hobbit house or does he just have a really really big dog I'm super mega uber jealous of the waffles and the cherries and the cream. You're living the life, man. You are living the life. And we're going into match number two. Sock about to be eliminated here. Every map win counts as it goes into like a qualifier ranking. So even a 2-1 wouldn't be too bad, actually. Uh, so once again, uh, once again, thank you, Martin, for that nice picture. I seriously, I love these pictures. 
Yeah. There we go. Sock in the red again. Bottom left of Last Refuge. And we have Romantic in the upper right. <clears throat> So, will we see a Mountain King this time? <laughs> that is the question. This fucking again. There's somehow a bug in this stupid tool that I can't use my... Uh, ...stream deck... ...to switch when I'm in-game. So I have to tap out all the time. Gotta fix this. So for now we have to live with it. So, it is an Archmage, it is another Archmage. So the TH MK surprise meta of WGL um, has not arrived at the like tier one and a half humans of the world. Which I think is good, because yes, it was quite fun to watch, but it was also quite painful. So in general, the Archmage matches should be better. Even if it's only Breakers, but especially at WGL, we had so many cool human mirrors. Um, Hawk versus Yumiko was one of them, both going tier three. And the entire series of Hawk versus Romantic, I think was very entertaining as well. So since this is last refuge, we have a mercenary camp this time and both are going for it. For the Shadow Priest, for the big items. No one is able to steal anything just yet. And I think this won't happen. So, who leaves the Merc Camp with the better item? Sobi Mask, Flute, Devotion Aura. Both is great. Scourge Bone Chimes, nah. Decent for the early, I guess. Boots of Keltalas is never good for human. So Romantic wins the item drops for now. Investing into a scout tower, this could mean a slow attack. A player's forces are under attack. Thank you, Lexi, for the two-month resub. Hey guys! Hey Lexi! We have a footman trying to harass. There's actually a kill happening here in the base. And we're closing in on level three for both players. Sock seriously unlucky with his drops. Are under attack. Wait a minute. Is he expanding? We have quite some workers here as well. Are they both expanding? That's definitely level three. Romantic, I guess he will tech now, right? He's moving over with that level three. Could be a pretty brilliant timing. He scouts for it, he knows. Star senses. Yeah, and there's the tech against an expansion. Ooh, that's rough for Sock. Thank you, Panorama123 for the three month resub. It's a pretty hard-hitting Archmage, but there's danger coming to his base. Footman can enter. He didn't go for a tower because he wanted the resources. It's a TP and the tower actually falls against us. He's trying to trap Romantic. Whose army is better? Both have uh, mercenaries, but Sock's army in general is quite bruised. But he has defend. Romantic doesn't want to fight this. Oh, he portaled the militia with him, delaying this expansion. This is not good for Sock. This is not good for Sock. It's an easy cancel. That should be an easy cancel. Power build is coming in now. Romantic is committing everything to it. Yep, yeah, okay. He's losing the Shadow Priest, but that's it. He has another one. That's fine. 
Man, Sock's game plans are not working out at all. We have a 60% tech already. That means priests very soon. And then he can continue pushing. A player's forces are under attack. Sock's expansion is at one third. Sock fields forced into a telly staff. More resources that is not in the army. And Romantic going heavy on Pikmin again. Makes absolute sense to do that. To build a big army because he knows Sock is reliant on this expansion now and then he can push at the early stages of tier 2 again. Still no tower. This is still such a vulnerable base. So, Panda or Naga? Panda it is. No Mountain King. So, if Sok holds this, he has a good shot in the late game. But first, he has to hold this. Mana definitely on the side of Romantic. Second hero on the side of Romantic. Oh, Breath of Fire misses everything, pretty much. These footmen bringing in the damage. Yeah, Breath of Fire grills the workers, but Militia is coming for Sog. There wasn't too much experience just yet, and Romantic is retreating. With only 40 supply. Was this enough already? Forces are under attack. He's just trying to flank again. Thank you, Styly, for the resub. Warcraft is love, Warcraft is life. Greets to Rico the fat ass. <laughs> Thanks. And greets to Rico for sure. So level 4 for Sock, but... Oh, even Mud Golems coming in. This mercenary camp is coming in very handy. As Mud Golems do, they don't uh, spend a long life here. Defense keeps him in the game, for sure. He's buying more time. But Romantic has two points of attack now, base and expansion, but Mud Golem actually... Uh, can he reach? Nope, denied. Sock is still not attacking. A lot of priests are coming. And if the panda can level a bit, Sock's footman army will just vanish. So yeah, that should be Romantic's prime objective. But, uh, but Sok is willing to trade. He has double income now. Surprisingly safe after this. Whoa, Sok going for Blizzard right away to deal with the masses of footmen and the militia that are coming in. Gotta be careful to not be surrounded. He's getting blocked. He is surrounded. No Mountain King here, so stab. Oh boy, is that enough? I doubt it! Miscalculated and losing the first hero on level 4. That's so expensive. He used the potion, but then didn't instantly portal away. That was his shot. Oh my. Panda getting the experience. Greater healing here. A little too ambitious. Still only mass priests. Doesn't see the need for breakers as footmen counter them rather the well. Forces are under attack. Yeah, it's pretty much only mercs. Tech at 60%. And the panda level. Wound of the wind, also nice. Again, the staff will be rendered useless. If he's getting into a surround again. Creep check opportunity now, but Romantic should have the high ground trying to reposition. Level four and a half on this Archmage. Good clock. Very good. 
So we still have two base, one base, but the big, big, big push for Romantic is coming. It actually doesn't show in numbers. But if he doesn't break him here, the game is in Sock's hands. So, Breath of Fire, level 2, number 1. Moving out of that, there's a death. Quite some footmen still, causing trouble. And a Zeppelin for Sock. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Breath of Fire hits quite nicely, but we still have the tower up. Good position for the Archmage now. Not willing to use the Wand of the Wind yet. He's hurting his own peasants though, and of course Breakers are not affected by this. Ooh, we're having a nice little barbecue here in Sock's expansion. Mana for the Archmage is completely gone. No additional Water Elementals. But the Panda is looking for more kills. And that's the tower gone. Man, this panda. So much impact. And what to do against these spellbreakers now? Piercing damage? They don't care. More mercs. More are so expensive though. The blizzard is good, but romantic is usually too quick. And reacts nicely to it. Mountain King is coming. Can he turn this around? Archmage is out of the fight for now. Another big breath of fire. Oh boy, this panda got almost an entire level. <laughs> How quick this wand of the wind was. Level 3 blizzard though. Or is it? Yes, it is. Got an entire level. And the blacksmith is gone. Sock taps out. That was just romantic. Overwhelming. 2 and oh, Well done. He didn't bang his head against this expansion at the early stages of tier 2 he was clever enough it was like okay I'm opting for panda I know he's good at level 1 but if I retreat a little and gather some forces and get my dispel and get some healing and get especially the level 2 breath of fire then I will crush him because the tech was so late And of course, you're not allowed to lose your hero like that, as Sock did. Definitely not the Sock that we love and saw at uh, the previous two WGLs. But Human Mirror might just not be his matchup. Same for Chimiko. So that was game number one for the day. That means Romantic will meet Happy in the quarterfinals. Please let it work. Please let it work. It worked yesterday. I didn't change a freaking thing. Now it's not working anymore. I don't get this system. Whatever. I can show you... The Liquipedia. So here we go. Get a little bigger. Um, Alice gave a death win to Happy. So tomorrow at noon, it's Happy versus Romantic. Now we decide the opponent of 120 who defeated Infi yesterday. It's going to be either Fly or Pink before we move into the lower part of the bracket with the broadcast that matches Yumiko Colorful and Lolly at TH as the highlight of the day before we go into the Rising Star Cup. So lots of Warcraft here. Add back to Warcraft in the little break that's coming. Make sure to sign up for Rising Star Cup too. We want to see all of you in there to make it a full 128 player grid. And feel free to check out the links in the stream description. And maybe give a little shout out to our sponsor for the Rising Star Cup, which is AMD. And yeah. Next game in five minutes, gonna be Fly versus Pink.